Hey everyone, my name is Eddie and today I am going to show you the powers of CC Composite. CC Composite is a, an effect that's on their channel and it does a lot of things. It does a lot of really great things. Uh, but to put it in the, in the simplest terms, it duplicates the layer that you apply the effect to and then it allows you to choose what kind of mode you want that duplication to be. And um, it's really great because those modes can be either RGB only or it can be everything, you know, include alpha and stuff. So right now I have applied that effect to this logo, which is just a, just a logo. It's not just a logo, it's the Motion Ray logo, right? It's, it's pretty cool. Let's say I apply a fill to this logo. So I'm going to go to Generate and Fill. And let me pick um, just white, right? And there, you can see, right? Uh, that is a uh, fill, but I'm gonna put the CC composite after the fill. And now what's happening is it's duplicating the original logo, which was red, on top of this fill that I've made of white, all right? But let's just turn that off for now. And um, if you, if we, if I make a mask on this, um, original logo or the fill white right uh, then and I apply CC composite then you can see that it's going on top of it but see if I don't check RGB only then it's going beyond the mask and right now I have it in front which makes sense that's why we don't see the white but if I go behind then you can see what's going on right it goes behind the mask and the fill white that I have done so this, this opens up a lot of possibilities, right? Because say I make another mask, only this time this mask is going to go to subtract and say I am going to maybe feather it. Then, you know, you have a lot of control over this two masks and it's all happening within the same layer and that I think is pretty cool you can animate this mask here is the great thing about it that this since this is all happening within the same layer mask and effects then this stuff can be saved as a preset also and that is something that you may find interesting because if I select both of these things and just go to effect save animation preset and then just call it uh, sweep hit, hit save now see what happens what happens if i delete all of this and maybe i delete the masks and we just have the plain logo now i can go to my presets and then select uh, sweep and everything will be back the way i have animated that so that's a lot of really cool stuff that you can do uh, by keeping stuff within the same layer. And CC Composite allows you to do that. Uh, so it's I think it's a really uh, cool, cool effect. All right, I'm going to show you another example here. Uh, first, uh, I'm going to make a mask again. And there you go. It's just a mask with rounded corners. And if I, I can also maybe do a fill. And when you do a fill, it can fill either the logo or you can say, hey, I want to fill the mask. Boom, there it is. You can fill the mask. And now if I apply CC Composite again, then this can be, uh, you know, I can say that I would like this to stencil Silhouette Alpha. And see, I have a cutout on the mask with the fill that I that I did. So let's say that. Uh, so that's one thing, right? Like you can have a cutout like that. Um, but let's maybe let's do something else. Let's say that maybe I want to blur this a little, and now I want to do another CC composite on top of it. Channel CC composite 
Only this time, I'm going to do a stencil alpha. And as you can see, there's another effect going on here, right? There is a, uh, there is a fill that was blur, and now I, I'm using a second CC composite to cut out the logo there. So you can have another kind of look to things, and it's all happening within the same uh, layer. So to explain something else about this, I'm going to do one even one more thing. I'm going to generate another fill, and this time I am going to say that it will be a white. And now what happens if I do another CC composite? This time I ion check RGB and throw it behind on the mode. And see, now I even have a different effect onto the logo. So as you can see, CC composite can be pretty powerful. I have added here a total of three CC composites and each one is doing a different operation into the same layer. And I think that's that's pretty cool. Uh, it, especially because if I wanted to make things like this or had the level of control that I'm having here, uh, it, it would have to be either different layers or um, all kinds of stuff. All right, so here's another example. Now I'm using CC composite on a picture. So when I do an ad, it's really an ad of the same image on top of the original. And you can control how bright that is or not. So that can be uh, kind of useful as well. Uh, you can have a lot of control in terms of blurring the original image before CC composite maybe. And when you blur that image, you can provide all kinds of kind of soft and blooming uh, effects, especially if the CC composite is under the additive mode. Uh, you can do all sorts of other things, including if you do a stencil luma, you can uh, generate some sort of transparency on the image um, that can provide unique uh, effects. Uh, you can overlay the same image on top of itself and that can also provide uh, cool effects uh, especially when using uh, blurs or, or other effects before CC Composite. So I just wanted to show you that CC Composite not only works with a, a logo, you can get to some really cool effects uh, using images as well. And again, it's just saving you a lot of real estate on your timeline by not having to duplicate and using layer modes onto itself. All right, thank you so much for watching another tutorial from Motion Array, and I hope you find this stuff useful. Thanks.